Bought a new uh, 357 Magnum Rossi 92 with a 20 inch barrel several months ago and had read enough comments online to know I might be buying into a project. The Rossi 92 certainly has the classic features of the Winchester and there's nothing like the look of stainless steel. The first step was the wood. It came with a rather bland, flat, matte finish on straight grained hardwood. To give the wood some luster, I rubbed several coats of Watco dark walnut stain right over the finish. I didn't uh, remove the old finish. And it darkened it and enhanced the grain. Then rubbed on about five coats of true oil and cut the gloss down with a 4 aught steel wool pad. But before I put on the true oil, I used a branding iron that my son had given me to mark my barbecued steaks and that personalized the rifle. I also filed the forestock to curve the front part and then shaped the sharp top edges with sandpaper. This smoothed out the bandsawed look of the forestock. To remove the forestock, just remove the spring from the tubular magazine. Uh, I trimmed about two inches off the spring to make it easier to load the magazine. Then I remove the front and back bands and the whole forestock and magazine tube will come off. While finishing the wood, I disassembled the rifle and began smoothing off burrs and sharp edges. The butt plate was sharp to the touch. Tender loving care with a jeweler's file and a 500 grit sandpaper smoothed the rough edges. I filed off the rough edges of the hammer top and most importantly smoothed the outer and inner edges of the loading door with a jeweler's file and 800 grit sandpaper. Now I can load it all day long without peeling epidermal layers off my fingertips. While the trigger group was removed, I used a stone to remove some metal where the trigger group slips into the receiver. I had to pry it out with a screwdriver before I did this. Now it will slip in and out fairly easily. Some owners have recommended polishing the rails and the top of the hammer, but mine were very smooth so I didn't touch them. Because all the parts were removed from the receiver, I polished the feeding ramp and the cartridge guide rails using 500 grit, then 1500 grit sandpaper. I also wrapped a dowel with 1500 grit sandpaper and polished the chamber entrance. I'm not a fan of buckhorn sights, so I used a Dremel tool to cut the horns off and did finish work with a jeweler's file. Then I applied permablue to the raw steel. Also put a few drops of automotive touch-up paint to the sights. Once the rifle was back together, it still had trouble feeding some of the different brands of 357 Magnum. 38 Specials were no problem and functioned smoothly because the case is shorter. The longer case of the 357 would cause the cartridge to hang up and would have to be coaxed into the chamber. I found by trial and error that Cabela's brand Herder's 158 grain rounds cycled through like greased lightning, but as the rifle breaks in, it appears to hang up less with other brands. The Rossi is now a fun gun to show off at the range, and it's very, very accurate, even if the range officer isn't impressed with my groupings.